Welcome back Australia, please subscribe my channel for daily weather and cyclone forecast for Australia, New Zealand, Fiji and Mauritius, ex-tropical cyclone Lincoln is located around 120 km to the west-southwest of Elliot and is moving west across central parts of the Northern Territory during Sunday and will approach the West Australian border during Monday morning. Heavy rainfall which may lead to flash flooding is forecast for the western Barclay, northern Tanami and southern Gregory. Districts during Sunday and continuing into Monday. Six hourly rainfall totals between 60 to 100 mm and 24 hourly rainfall totals between 80 to 140 mm are likely. Locally intense rainfall which may lead to dangerous and life-threatening flash flooding is also possible later on Sunday evening and Monday morning with six hourly rainfall totals up to 150 mm near the centre and southern side of the low. 24 hourly rainfall totals up to 220 mm are also possible. A separate severe thunderstorm warning will be issued if very dangerous thunderstorms with intense rainfall are detected, strong winds averaging 50 to 60 km per hour with damaging wind gusts of about 90 km per hour are possible in thunderstorms within the warning area. Severe weather is likely to ease through the Barclay District during Monday afternoon, a flood watch is current for the area. Locations which may be affected include Lajamanu, Rabbit Flat, Supplejack Downs, Barclay District west of Tennant. Creek and Gregory District west of Daguragu, severe weather, is no longer occurring in the Simpson District and the warning for this district is cancelled. 138.4 mm was recorded at Tennant Creek in the 24 hours to 9 a.m. Sunday. For Victoria and surrounding, slow-moving severe thunderstorms are developing in a humid and unstable air mass along the Great Dividing Ranges this afternoon. Very dangerous thunderstorms are likely to produce heavy, locally intense rainfall that may lead to dangerous and life-threatening flash flooding and large hailstones over the next several hours in parts of the Central Tablelands, Illawarra, Southern Tablelands and Central West Slopes and Plains Districts. Locations which may be affected include Orange, Bathurst, Katoomba, Blaney, Trunky Creek and Taralga. Elsewhere in the warning area, severe thunderstorms are likely to produce large hailstones and heavy rainfall that may lead to flash flooding over the next several hours in the central tablelands. Southern tablelands and parts of the Hunter, Illawarra, South Coast, Northwest Slopes and Plains, Central West Slopes and Plains, Southwest Slopes and Snowy Mountains Districts. Locations which may be affected include Mudgee, Goldburn and Wellington, 59mm recorded at Orange Airport in the 2 hours to 1.42. For Mauritius Island, the severe tropical storm Jaungu has intensified into a tropical cyclone during the day and it continues to evolve in a favourable environment. At 16h00 this afternoon, it was centred near latitude 16.4 degrees south and longitude 70.1 degrees east, that is at a distance of about 790 kilometres to the northeast of Rodriguez. It is moving in a general east-southeasterly direction at a speed of about 15 kilometres per hour. Most weather models indicate that Jiangu may intensify further as it is evolving in a favourable environment. It does not represent a threat since it will continue to move away from the Mascarenes Islands towards the southeast. The low-level circulation off the northeast coast of Madagascar is gradually developing. Satellite pictures of this morning show an increase in the convective clouds in the vicinity of these systems. Most weather models are intensifying the system as from early next week while moving it eastward. There is likelihood that this system may reach the naming stage on Monday the 19th of February, 2024 in the afternoon. However, there are still some uncertainties regarding the intensity and movement of the low. The Mauritius Meteorological Services is keeping a close watch on the evolution of this system.